Guys, so exciting. All of us duck hunters can't seem to stop buying things. So when something new hits the market, especially something that you utilize and it 100% contributes to killing ducks, hitting limits, Lucky Duck this year has come out with some very nice and innovative technology, especially with their spinners. Roger Sporting Goods came with an early release of the new Lucky Duck XHDI. They were actually on sale, so MSRP of 200, and I think Rogers had a deal at 160. So yes, I picked up a couple, um, but this is their newest, new and improved spinner for this year, which the biggest thing, if anybody's seen the ad, is black side up every time, right? I mean, it's the same price as the HDIs of the past. Uh-oh, it's windy, isn't it? Oh, geez. Here, I'll leave it right there, okay? It's crazy. It's so windy. All right, let's get this thing opened up. Anybody who's a Benchmade fan, have your wife buy you one for Christmas. All right, so first thing I notice is definitely a larger profile. Paint is a lot nicer. The carving is actually a lot different. Here's the wings. So right away you're gonna notice just black and white. Really nice, it's actually flocked. No shine to those whatsoever, just super nice. Got the foam yet on the inside, so if one drops, it's gonna float. The 2.0 remote, which is super nice. It's another really cool product, Lucky Duck. Their spinner bag, hands down, one of the most convenient things that we probably have. Just for organization, here's a traditional HDI. Right away you can see the color difference. So very dark. The carving on the, the new X, X HDI is much more realistic. You can tell it's a little bit more effort put into it. The, the neck, like just the overall profile is definitely bigger. The coloring is a lot nicer. Um, just a little white accents. The tail is dramatically bigger. So I mean, a much bigger overall profile. The full waterproof housing, your battery built in, good connections, magnetic wings, which are super nice. So right away, the wings are obviously a lot bigger. Really good flash to them, so there's good contrast just being black and white. So if you, if you like the realistic wing, you could actually run it a little bit less of a profile maybe, but what everybody's probably buying these for, right, is the black side up every time, right? Wing up. I mean, yeah, it's working really, really good. Yeah, it's like every time. Even just flicking them by hand. So again, that's just one less thing to have to worry about. Maybe it's just a one less thing to blame, point a finger at. I think what I'm gonna do, just to see how well these actually are, I might toss the drone up, throw a stake in the ground, and just give like a, an overall like aerial view. I think it'd be really cool. Spin. It's really gusty too, so I'm wondering if that's going to test the ability for that wing to stop right. And like, I mean right away, first time, stop perfect, white side up. That's what we're trying to mitigate, right? What do you think? Pretty cool? Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. The ability, again, for these to always stop, black side up again, white side up, I mean, they're both programmed on one remote, same setting. They're starting 
and they're stopping at the same time. So again, I think this is just ruling out another hiccup maybe in the equation and something that you no longer can really point a finger at or blame. What do you think of it? Is it pretty cool? Yeah. What is that? It's a sailboat. A sailboat? Yeah. Mm. What do you think of the new decoy? One less thing to worry about. The color and the size is 10 times better. It just looks more realistic. Like uh, Brittany said, a little extra piece on your mind and ruling out anything you can point your finger at if something goes wrong or isn't working in your favor. The quality looks a lot nicer. The overall size is better, the paint's better, the carving is better. I think that HDI was probably the best spinner on the market prior, but I think they kind of just upped the, the standard even a little bit more. Yeah, at first when you wanted to buy it, I didn't really know much about it. All I knew is that the wings stayed black, but it has so many more benefits than just that. Overall, it's just a better looking, better working motion. We got a lot of things coming up. Actually, this weekend is going to be super exciting. Most exciting is Willow check-in at Riverstone Kennels. And if you're just kind of starting to follow along with our journey here, uh, we picked up a new puppy this past December. She's going to be a rock star. We post a little bit on our Instagram page about that. We picked her up from Josh Whitney at Riverstone Kennels. We've kind of been building a relationship with them for four years or so. She is off in their intermediate course. So we get a check-in. Um, it's super awesome that they kind of do a train the trainer kind of style too. It's very valuable that we get there as often as we can and kind of check in on her. Weekend, weekend of game fair. <laughs> For the first time we're leaving this little one home and I think as much as guilt as much guilt as that causes it's actually going to be really nice for me as well to be able to actually enjoy game fair instead of being in mommy mode all weekend so I'm excited to talk to everyone in the booths and get to know everyone and try out some calls and actually enjoy game fair myself so hopefully it'll be a good weekend it's pretty. oh you want to check your pretties Okay, well. <laughs> a lot of the leaders of the industry, it's a pretty sweet outdoor venue. Seems like every time we go, it's scorching out. But most of the big call manufacturers, decoy manufacturers, um, there's a lot of dogs, a lot of dog training going on, seminars. Really looking forward to watching our good friend Eric in the finals for the quickest that retrieve Sunday. that Sunday. So it'll be really cool to see Scout run. Hang out with some good friends, keep building on our community keep uh, building on our relationships that we're starting to establish. So we're really looking forward to it. I'm excited for Willow's check-in. I was very reserved about sending her to training just because I didn't want to not learn anything myself. Knowing that they do this train the trainer piece, it's, it's totally worth it at the end of the day. So I'm really anxious to see, I said, when Dave sat down and talked to us, he said that we'll be working with multiple dogs, which is really intriguing. It kind of gives us for a feel for what she might do in uh, in different scenarios if she's lazy or more high paced. So um, we'll get a good taste for training on our end too, and that's going to make me feel a lot better come October. Whoa! <laughs> you ready to kill ducks this fall? Yeah. You're going hunting with us for teal season. You ready? Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna go duck hunting. <laughs>